Hey, what's going on, guys? Pequin here, hopping on the Pequin official YouTube channel today to bring you another trading card game video. In today's video, I'm going to be opening up the contents of a Detective Pikachu on the case box. Uh, it's actually a figure collection, although it only does feature one figure, which is this figure of Detective Pikachu. It's a very nice, very high quality figure, uh, a lot of cool detailing. But the probably the most awesome thing about it is that the figure base is actually a magnifying glass, which is, you know, get it because he's a detective, so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you're also uh, guaranteed 12 foil cards within three packs of the Pokemon trading card game Detective Pikachu boosters, as well as two regular booster packs, one's Burning Shadows and one of is of course Sun and Moon base. Of course in Burning Shadows we do have the chance at the Rainbow Rare Charizard. It is extremely low but we can still pull it. Uh, I also have the code card for this box set out so uh, please do let me know what you get in that code card as I say. Uh, I don't play the online TCG, I don't collect the online TCG, but I am always curious, what do you get inside the code cards? So please do let me know. Alright, let's start with the Detective Pikachu booster packs. The problem with these packs being so thin is that they're also much harder to open than the regular boosters. To start, we have a Magikarp, a Charmander, a Morlow, an Arcanine, and a Code Card. And I also forgot, I completely glossed over these awesome promo cards that you get. A Psyduck, a Bulbasaur, and a Detective Pikachu, and a Snubble. And they all have the Detective Pikachu logo stamped on them, which is really, really cool. Alright, moving on to our next Detective Pikachu booster here. We have a Psyduck, a Charmander, a Bulbasaur, and my favorite out of this entire set, the Slacking, because he's awesome. Also, a Code Card. Now for our final Detective Pikachu booster pack, let's see what we get. Hmm. Of course, the last one is the one that I struggle to open. I apologize. There, finally. We have a Magikarp, a Morlow, a Snubble, and a Slacking, as well as a Code Card. So those were our three packs of Detective Pikachu trading cards. Really cool to get another look at the Detective Pikachu packs because, you know, I have the cards in my collection now, but I, um, admiring, you know, the packs themselves is, you know, pretty cool. But, uh, now we're going to open up the pack of Sun and Moon Burning Shadows. Let's see what we can get in here. We have a Togedemaru, a Wimpod, and a little Vulpix, a Meowth, Riolu, Reverse Hollow is a Raichu, a regular rare Bruxish, 
and energy. The Seviper, or Seviper, sorry, Sophocles, Rabambi, and a Code Guard. And finally, the last pack of the box, Sun and Moon Base, the thing that started this whole era of Pokemon cards in the first place. And it's actually the easiest to get open. Wow, that came open like butter. We have the Eevee, Sandy Gast, a Poliwag, a Skarmory, a Morlow, First Hollow is a Nest Ball, Regular Rare Scoutland, an Energy, a Dragonair, I almost said Dratini, a Charge Bug, and a Crashing Hammer. And the final code card of the box, a Sun and Moon Base code card, nonetheless. If you guys have enjoyed this opening and want to see more, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Also, be sure to turn on my post notifications so you never miss a video. Peace out.